it's almost like it's and it's impossible to communicate until you experience it. Having been fortunate enough to be invited to Robo Taxi, it's really opened my eyes to like, like this is happening, you guys. Like Robo Taxi is happening. Self driving car Robo Taxi is, happening. is like the first installment of AI eating stuff in the physical world which which kind of crystallizes it more i think for the average person because you can actually see it whereas like chat gpt is a little bit more esoteric and the people that will feel it are the ones that are being directly impacted by the disruption versus like you know it, it's i think it's harder to conceptualize uh ai disrupting a uh radiologist versus a self-driving car disrupting a delivery driver it's a lot easier to because because people well, know how to people drive. People focus on the on the drivers, which I think you know that's it's valid. But you know, at the same time, why is the driver being disrupted? It's because the the AI and the batteries are able to do the job of the person for one tenth of the cost or yeah. something like that. Which means that all of the people who need that service can get that service much, much cheaper. And so there are going to be, you know, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, potentially hundreds of thousands of people that lose their jobs to this technology. Millions. The, it's almost like, it's, and it's impossible to communicate until you experience it. It's literally impossible. It's, it's one thing to have FSD, the latest version of FSD in your car behind the steering wheel and pedal. Which mm -hmm. gives you a signal that says, oh, shit, if I wasn't here, this car probably is doing it just fine on its own. And then it's an another, entirely another thing to go in the robo taxi in the back seat. No one's in the driver's seat. And you're like, yep. oh, wow, it's actually better than I thought. It's actually yep. better than I thought. Because now I'm not even in control. Mm -hmm. And it's doing better than I would have. And better yep. is subjective. But I would, I, would, I would say in a world of self-driving vehicles, it's also an objective fact to have a better smooth... at providing a comfortable drive to the passengers in the back. Bingo. With that objective truth, it is better at doing that than 95% of drivers out there. Probably, yeah. 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 Impossible to communicate until you're unless you're in the car. Impossible.